Well, people in our area with family and friends in Ukraine and Russia are watching the developments closely. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports from Sheepshead Bay, Brooklyn. Outside the net cost supermarket on Ocean Avenue, which carries Eastern European specialty foods, most people we spoke to have a connection to Ukraine or Russia, and they are watching the situation closely. Hopefully everything is resolved and there was no war between Russia and Ukraine and everybody finds peace. Councilwoman Ina Vernikov represents Brooklyn's District 48, where she says more than half of the constituents are from the former Soviet Union, which includes Ukraine. I came over here when I was 12 years old from the former Soviet Union. It was already Ukraine when I came here. And uh, look, I feel that right now Russian President Putin really sees the Biden administration as a continuation of the Obama era foreign policy. I think that he sees the leadership as very weak. I think that sanctions are way overdue. I think they should have been uh, imposed yesterday. The Biden administration is warning of cyber attacks on U.S. companies if sanctions are imposed. New York Governor Kathy Hochul said Sunday night that in light of current geopolitical and uncertainty, she convened cabinet members to review cybersecurity preparedness, adding that the reality is that because New York State is a leader in the finance, healthcare, energy, and transportation sectors, our state is an attractive target for cyber criminals and foreign adversaries. The Bishop of the Stanford Diocese of the Ukrainian Catholic Church led a prayer service at St. Michael's Church in Yonkers Sunday. The mobilization of the troops, that's up to the government and to the military, but we're organizing uh, mobilizing the people to pray. The bishop also says he's in regular contact with faith leaders in Ukraine. They were all supposed to convene there this summer. In Sheepshead Bay, Brooklyn, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.